Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Wings of Love Treasures, back with another video. Sorry I didn't put one out yesterday. I was making chili and I cut my fingers all up, so I got band-aids on them. I had a knife um, that was Cutco cutlery knife, and I had just gotten it sharpened and forgot it was so sharp. And you would have think after the second time I cut myself, I would have put the knife down. <laughs> I was cutting small peppers. So anyway, I'm here today. And we're going to go over all this stuff that was in the New Jersey box. And then I untangled all the other stuff that we had. And then I have some stuff that I want to show you that my mom sent me um, when I went to Alabama to visit her. She sent some jewelry back with me. She said she's not wearing it. So maybe somebody would like it. Okay. This bracelet, I think, is a Crown 9. It's $200. But the CN on it looks like the Crown 9 CN. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to keep checking on it. But uh, I do believe that's what it is. And usually these are uh, gold plated. So it's a very pretty bracelet. So I did find that. I don't know if I can get this side closed. I think I have it lined up right. You have to get them just right. Well, I'll get it later. Okay, I'm going to put that aside for now. And then these brooches, this multicolor brooch that I just love so much. Um, this was 15 Isn't that pretty? I just love it. And then this one was 10 And this is made by the Lux Accessory Company. And then this little butterfly was also 10. So those were very nice. And then we had a, this one. This little one is gold plated also. It's just a bar, but it was by Wistic. Okay. Oh, Wistic. There. All right. So it's just a gold, gold bar necklace. All right, and then the tiger eye pendant was 15. I don't know, I just looked these up. I thought you'd be interested to know the prices that I found on them. This one's really pretty. Didn't come with a chain though, so I'll have to find a chain. And this was the one that said 18 karat gold plated, but the plating's coming off a little bit. So I think there's brass under there, but it's just so pretty, it really is. Okay, and then these were the Murano glass pendants. There's two of these, and they were $16. Okay, and they're just on, this one's on, uh, on a, this one's on silky cord. This one's on suede, actual suede. So suede and silky. So, but they're very pretty. They say Murano on the back. Okay, and then this was Avon. I was looking this one up. It says it right down here, Avon. So I thought that was really pretty uh, pendant. And I'm looking to see if I wrote it down. Cat charm. I must not have wrote, written it down, but I did look it up. So it's very pretty. There's a million of them out there. I found a ton. I did not find this one at all. I didn't find anything about it, anything on it. I didn't find this exact one. I found cat charm bracelets, but not this one. So I'm going to keep looking for that um, because that one's really pretty. I like that. Okay, now this one is quartz and pink quartz, and this one was $65. And this one is by uh, the Nakamol. Nakamol. So that one was 65. Beautiful stones. Faux pearls right there. But the rest of it's just gorgeous. Okay. And then this is a serpentine. And this one was $75. And these are white jasper. Okay. Very pretty necklace. And then we had this 
amethyst, and the amethyst was $68. Although it didn't have a name on it. But I did find this exact one, and it didn't have a name on it either. So, very pretty. I feel like butter. Okay. Oh, and this was, um, this clasp said, what did it say? 18 or 14? Let me see. Oh, my goodness. I've forgotten already. Oh, 10. So it says 10 karat S. So this is 10 karat gold over sterling. And that's just the clasp. And this is a little vintage piece. Because these are glass pearls. And they're not knotted in between. But they're really pretty. Okay. So I found out what that was. This little thing is a Venus of Willendorf. It's based on an ancient statue from Germany over 25,000 years ago. It's a mother goddess. Okay? And it wasn't sterling. Just base metal. Maybe pewter. I don't know. Let's see. It's very, yep, yeah, probably pewter. It's very heavy. So, that's what that was. Um, This one actually says 14 karat gold and it is and it's heavy it's a heavy chain yeah that's a 14 karat gold chain very pretty let's see what the length is on this one oh, i'm gonna put these in here get them out of my way oh, just get these out of the way okay this one is 20 inches, 14 karat gold, white gold. Oh, I can't pick it up. 14 karat white gold. And like I said, it is heavy. So I'm going to hang that one up. Always use a gold chain. Put hair on me. Um, this one is pretty Swarovski butterfly. This one... Did I not write this down either? Well, it was $75. I didn't write it down, but I do remember it was $75. So, that's very pretty. I'm going to hang that one up too, so it doesn't get lost. Okay, these were sterling. i just show you the earrings. The, well, I'll show you with this hand. This is sterling. These two earrings. Okay, this was sterling, but we didn't have the mate to it. That was sterling. This was also sterling, but we didn't have the mate to it either. And it had the little marcasites on it. And then this was sterling. Little pendant. And then these rings were sterling. That other ring, we had three of them. That other one was not sterling. So this one was sterling. And this one was sterling. I'm trying to show you with this hand so you don't see my band-aids. But it was either do a video with band-aids or not do one. So, okay, that's a cute one. This is a real opal. It's just on gold tone. But that's a real opal. And then this was uh, gold fill with mother of pearl. This was sterling and turquoise. These little ones, that is turquoise, and these are sterling. Very pretty stone. Yeah. Looks like a sleeping beauty, doesn't it? But we don't know that. So we can't say that it is. Okay, this one, uh, this is the little pearl. And this was sterling. And then, I'm not sure what stone this is. It looks like, uh, it's, it looks black, but I think it's more of a topaz. Because it looks very dark. 
but it's also sterling and they have both of those okay and then these were sterling but remember i checked these and they said they were glass so and then these were also sterling rose gold with sterling underneath and those look like uh, topaz to me yeah those are pretty and these were turquoise and sterling oops these are pretty so we have both of those that's one this is the other one they have a little different matrixing on both of them so very pretty i really like these a lot there okay and then that was it that was all okay let me get a little bag for these um i couldn't believe there was so much sterling but you know uh, New Jersey bags are always nice. I, I always like them. Now, I had that bag for a while. I was saving it because I don't know when I'll ever get a New Jersey bag or if I'll ever get another one again. So, <laughs> I wanted to save it for a little while. I think I have one more left New Jersey bag. I had gotten t uh, two, four boxes, actually. All right. Now, let's... Oh, it's at the top. I didn't put a price, though. That Swarovski Butterfly. That's so funny. But I can believe it was $75. I mean, I know it's Swarovski, but still. Okay, so I untangled all of these from the box. This is a bracelet. It's got charms on it. These are glass and rhinestones. And they're just silver tone. So, and this is uh, plastic. It's plastic cording. Yeah. Okay. And then we had another bracelet. And this one has a flag and a monkey and a heart with a flag. And it says recycle. And it's supposed to be like Alex and Ani, but it's made in the USA. And that's all it says. I think. Yeah. Okay. And then we had a beautiful statement necklace. Look how pretty this is. Oh my, it is beautiful. And there's a tag on it. Uh, Lois Danza or Denza. I'll have to look this one up because I don't know this brand. Lois Denza, I think. Okay, this is gorgeous though. Look how pretty that is. These are all glass. Isn't that beautiful? And these go all the way up to the back. So that is just beautiful. Love those colors. Okay, so I'll have to look that one up. And then we had another necklace. Look at this one. Oh, this is gorgeous too. Look at this. And these are glass. Isn't that beautiful? Like a green tone to it. They, these right here. Oh, they're just beautiful. It's a beautiful necklace. I think I have this twisted. No, I don't. And it says CK Sky. And I don't know that brand either. So I'll have to look this up. But look at this chain. Isn't it gorgeous? Just beautiful. And here's the back in great shape yeah so I'll look this one up just gorgeous and then I had another silver tone necklace and this one is there's a lot of names on these that I found all twisted together uh, Melinda Maria I think I've looked her up before so this one's long and it has stations and it's gold tone I mean silver tone this one's pretty. I like this one, too. Silver Tone Stations. Try to keep my Band-Aids out of the view. <laughs> I'm sure you've all done that and cut yourselves cooking. I'm not the only one. Okay, I'll look this one up. I'm sure I've looked her up before, but I'll look her up again. I don't remember. 
And then we have this pretty orange and gold tone one with Buddha. And, oh, you know what? It's broken. Oh, here's the other piece. No? Yeah. Okay, this one's broken. But I would probably just put it in a craft lot. So it has a clasp back here. And then... I think that hooks there and this goes here too because this this had fallen off so that's the necklace and I'll probably just put this in a craft lot somebody can use these chains and these beads and Buddha because they're in really good shape so we'll put that in a craft lot since he's broken <coughs> okay and then here's a pretty silver tone necklace. And it's a beautiful chain. Look at this chain. It's a big box chain. And this has, this is uh, Bill Blass. Bill Blass. I'll show you the, no, well, if I can't get it. Bill Blass, BB. Okay, and this one's really pretty. Yeah, this is in great condition too. Just beautiful. And it's got the two chains on each side. And here's the back. Looks brand new. Okay. And then I had this one. These are crystals. And they're all wired in there. It looks like a flower on a gold tone chain. Which this chain is not in great shape. Um, it's very long. But you could put this pendant on anything. I think it would look pretty on a short chain. Mm -hmm. Cause I like the pendant. So, and here's the chain. All right. Oops. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to hit you. All right. And then we had an earring. And I don't think we have this earring. No. And I didn't find it in here. So, put that earring. Back here. Then I found a bracelet and it's a stethoscope for a doctor or a nurse. Rose gold. And it's a bracelet. Very cute little bracelet. Stethoscope. Okay. And then I had, oh, this one's adorable. This brooch. Look at this brooch. Acorns. And all the rhinestones are there. And look how sparkly it is. Acorns would be perfect for the fall. This one didn't have a name on it. But you could also wear it as a pendant. See? Very, very pretty. Okay. Then we have this chain. And this is just a gold tone chain. With a lobster claw clasp. Very pretty. I'm going to put that back there because I'm probably going to hang that up. Because I can use those chains. Then, this is a little necklace. Gold tone with butterflies. Just little gold tone butterflies hanging off the side of it. Oh, I think I have it backwards. Yeah. I did. I had it backwards. So, gold tone butterflies hanging off the side. Look, they're just like little um, charms hanging off the side of it. They move. When you walk, aren't they cute? So that's a cute necklace. I like that one. Okay. And then we had another one. And this one is long. Very long. But it is doubled. It's a double necklace. But it's a long double necklace. It's got bow pearls that dangle off the sides. And I'll show you the length. And this is the length. So see, it's a little bit longer than, you know, some of them that are double. So, and you've got these every so often, the little dangles. So oh, it's really cute. Silver tone, lobster claw clasp. And there's two different chains on there. A skinny one and a longer one. I mean, a fatter one. Curb chain. Okay, then I have this one, and oh, it took me forever to get this one undone. And this is two. I don't want to get tangled again. Oh, faux pearls, 
champagne color, like a peach and a white lobster claw clasp. This is the chain. There's two of them. And one is longer than the other. And it hangs down here. And then this one's a little shorter. So that's a pretty one. Okay. <coughs> I want to get that one tangled again. Excuse me. I'm sorry to keep coughing. It's just my allergies. Okay. And then we have this one, Lobster Claw Clasp. And this is Coldwater Creek. Very pretty. Silver tome. There's a chain running through it. And it has a dangle at the end. And these are glass pieces. And look at this. I love this. I love these where they dangle off the ends. The only problem is this one was painted and the paint is coming off. But you know what? I don't even care. I think it kind of looks supposed to look like that. These are little uh, silver tone pieces and they look like leaves. So I really like that. Yeah. And these are all glass. Glass and these are glass. Pretty, pretty. I like that one. Okay, and then we had an earring and we didn't have the mate. And it's really dirty. It looks like it was in the bottom of somebody's purse and it got makeup all on it. But it is marked. And it's marked um, 925. I can't read it. 925's I. I don't, I'm not sure, but I can't. It's really dirty. So I think it's, uh, it is sterling. It's Mark Sterling, but I do believe it is. So I'm going to clean it and look at it. Okay, and then this is another chain, and I believe this was just silver tone. I'm pretty sure. And it's just a little curb chain. Yeah, a little curb chain. Uh, it it does look like sterling, but it's not. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty to put a pendant on. And I'm going to put that back there because I'll probably hang that up. And then I found these earrings. And these, I believe, are sterling. And they have, they're on cotton cording. I don't think they all are. I think this hook is, but I'll test it. And it's got a bird and a little glass piece that looks like turquoise piece of wood, a little sunflower. So those are cute. And I've got both of those. Let's see so you can see them better without looking at my hands. Okay. They hook. I like them because they're long. There we go. Those are cute. So they remind me of uh, American Eagle. And I they may be. So I'm going to look those up. Okay. Now what we're going to do is my mom, when I went to Alabama, gave me some jewelry. And she said it's just not her. She just doesn't wear jewelry that much. And she said, see if anybody likes it or wants it. And I'm going to show you the jewelry that she gave me. Let me take it out of this bag. Some of it's costume. Some of it's real. Um, I'll let you know which is which. This one is... Well, see, I got it all tangled from bringing it home. Okay, this one is a real jade. I may be keeping this one. Brown jade, and it's carved. And it is just gorgeous. So, um... It's on a cotton cord, but I really, really like it. So I don't know. I may not sell that. It's hard for me to sell stuff my mom gives me. <laughs> this one I am selling. This one's sterling and real stones. And I believe the stones are jasper. Mm -hmm. That one's really pretty. This one was handmade. She got it at a, an art festival. So, very, very pretty. And these stones are cold. Yeah. Very nice. 
She says she just doesn't wear a lot of jewelry anymore. She has so much. Okay, now this doesn't have a tag on it, but to me, this looks like Zapata. This looks like something Zapata would have made, and I don't know what the tag is or if it is even made by Zapata. She could not remember um, where she even got this one. So I believe it's sterling. I'm going to test it. And these are real stones. But it does look like something Zapata would do. But it may not be. You know, other people make these. So, very pretty. Green. I love these stones. Very nice. Okay. And then we have a longer piece, which I'm surprised she's getting rid of this one because she wore this one not too long ago. Um, these look like coconut shells that have been painted or wood yeah and these are uh amethyst and that's a real stone i don't know what this one is but yeah these are real stones and glass so and this one's a really pretty and i know i just saw her picture and with her and she was wearing it last year so but, you know, you get tired sometimes of things you have and you just want to get some new ones or, you know. I send her jewelry all the time for Christmas and her birthday. And <laughs> so <laughs> she's got plenty left. And then this one, we all know these. These are uh, gunmetal and silver and gold tone mesh necklace. And these have little circles here and it's. Oh, it's a pretty necklace. It doesn't have a name on it. Yeah. Very nice. And these are all gold tone. All four of these. So that's pretty. And then this is heavy. And I don't know if this has a name on it. I could not find a name on it anywhere. But it's super heavy. I'm going to look inside this clasp. I didn't look there. No. No name on it. So I don't know where she got this one. Or who this is made by. But it is beautiful. Yeah. She keeps her stuff in very good shape. It's like brand new. I mean, she wears it, takes it off, and puts it in a drawer. <laughs> so, very nice. And then she had this one. This is a double... I can get it untangled. This is Peridot chips. Peridot chips. And is there a tag? Yes. It says Liz Henley, which I need to look that up. I don't know who that is. This is Sterling, and it's Peridot and Wood. And then this one is a stone, which I don't know what stone that is. I'll have to see. But that one's pretty, too. I like that one. And these are Peridot chips. Okay. Very unique. I like how this goes here and then this goes down. And you don't have to wear two necklaces. It's already attached. So I'll look that one up. And then we had a cross. Beautiful cross. And cross necklace. And this one, this one have a name? Yes. Robert Rose. And it's got uh, the rosary link here with some rhinestones. Beautiful. I'm not sure if these are glass or stones. To me, they look like stones, but they could be glass. Let me see. Yes, I believe they're glass. They're going to glass. Yeah, so they're all glass. So that's a very pretty necklace. Okay, and I'll look that one up too. Like I said, I didn't look them up. 
I'm like, oh, I'm show you guys the stuff I got from my mom. And I thought I didn't look it up, but I can tell you next time. This is brass tone with a brass tone uh, clasp, lobster claw, faux pearls with a little rhinestone flower and a drop. And these are all faux pearls. Yeah, so that one's pretty too. I really like that one. Now, see, I wouldn't keep this and wear this one because I have to have longer necklaces. I don't want to draw attention to my neck. <laughs> uh, silly, huh? But that's very pretty. I do like that one. All right. And then we have another necklace. And this one is brass tone, too. She likes brass tone like I do. And uh, lobster claw. All right, and these are faux pearls and these glass or acrylic. Let me see. There we go. This one's pretty. I like this. Let's see. These, uh, those are acrylic. So this one's all acrylic, faux pearls and everything. That's pretty. Oh, I love that one. But see, I wouldn't wear it because it's too short for me. So, uh, that's nice. Okay, and that one doesn't have a name either. Now, this one I'm keeping. I just wanted to show it to you. I'm keeping this one. Y'all know I'm keeping this one. This one's longer. It's all acrylic. Mm -hmm. And it has the rosary links, too. But it's just all acrylic. Nothing fancy about it. This is supposed to look like a stone, and these are supposed to look like stones, but they're not, but I'm keeping that one. So, then she sent me some earrings, and these are sterling. Here, let me get my pillow so I can put these. These need to be cleaned. I have not done anything to these yet, but these are sterling. They're marked on the back, sterling. These are pretty. Okay. Put those there. And then these are also sterling with onyx. Let's see. These are pretty. They, they're kind of worn. She's had these for a while. They do say 925. And so those are sterling and onyx. And then she does have some in here that are not sterling. Um, these, these I don't believe are sterling. No. And those are southwestern look. And I believe that's glass. Let's see. Yeah, so that's glass. And we have both of those. And these are not, these are just silver tone. They look southwestern to me. Mm -hmm. Southwestern. And then these are not sterling either. And this is this is just enamel. So we have those. And those are um, posts. And then we have these, and these are sterling and onyx. And it says it right there, but I need to clean it. I don't know if you can see it right in there. I'll look at it in a second. It says something else. And these are sterling and onyx. Okay. Well, let me see if I can see what that says. And then I got a little travel jewelry box. That she gave me. I can put my jewelry in it if I'm going somewhere. <laughs> so that was nice. So let me see what this one says. If I can see it. It's kind of dirty. So I don't know. The inside. No, I can't even read it. It's so dark in here. Like I said, whenever I try to read something, it's so dark. I can't see it. And my light has gone out on my thing because I need a battery. But anyway, they do say 925 and they are I know they're sterling. So 
Well, that is all from that. I wanted to show you some stones that I had gotten and a bracelet. I got this bracelet a little while ago, and I wasn't going to show y'all because I was going to keep it. <laughs> but I decided to show you. So it's uh, Mexico. It's from Mexico. And it says 925 right here. And it clasps like this. And it's uh, abalone all the way around, and it has panels. It's just beautiful. Oh, I have these abalone bracelets on that we found uh, last time. Yeah, and I've been wearing this one too, the hematite bracelet with the peace sign. That's funny. Um, let's see. I haven't tried it on in a while. It is just gorgeous. Now, I haven't decided if I'm keeping it or not because I really like it, but, you know, I have a million bracelets. Like, I can't wear them all. It's just kind of silly for me to keep so many. Okay. Anyway, it is beautiful. It is just gorgeous, and I love that they're panels because it's kind of like a soft bra uh, hard bracelet and a soft bracelet all in one. So, anyway, that is just gorgeous. You can wear them with both of these. <laughs> All right, and then I wanted to show you some stones I got. So I got these stones, and these are white buffalo, but they're black. They're black stones. They're white buffalo. They have some white matrix in them. Aren't those beautiful? I don't know why the white buffalo, I like the black ones. I know they're not as expensive, but I do like them. There's the little bit of white matrix in here. And you can see some gray. So I got those. And, and those were a gift because I bought so many. So let's see if I can get some of these out. Okay, these say wings. Wings L. I should have opened these beforehand. I just wanted to show you a few of them. I have a ton. Okay. Those white buffalo. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. Now, I don't know. We're probably going to make pendants out of them or earrings or sell some of them. I mean, I bought so many of them. So, if anybody's interested in some white buffalo to make jewelry out of, let me know because I have a ton. And then I also have, um, I'll show you some more. I should put wings on there. So these are black and they have a little white on the tips. And then these, these are pretty. Those are very pretty. They remind me of zebra stripes. And then these are some more black ones. And they got a little uh, tip there of white. And then... Oh, these are Druzies. Let me show you these. These are Druzies. If I can open it. Look how pretty these are. Well, if I can get them out. Oh, it's just been a couple days like this. Look at that. It looks like a heart. It's a Druzy, though. Look. It looks like a heart. And then we have a big one. back of it but aren't those pretty I just couldn't pass them up I don't know what I'm gonna do with them actually but um yeah I have a bunch of white ones and colored ones and then I have some spotted ones these look at those aren't those pretty 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 stones I received and then these, this is a different, and I forget what kind of stone this is. She told me, and I can't remember now. Isn't that terrible? But look how pretty they are. So, and then this one's round. I'm oval. Yeah. Cabochons, just beautiful. They're already cut, ready to be put in a necklace or earrings or whatever. But I don't know why. I just love the black ones. So anyway, that's all. I just wanted to show you the stones. They're just beautiful. And uh, 
I don't know what we'll do next time. I've got some jewelry that I just purchased from one of my subscribers. Maybe we'll do that. I'm not sure. I have a million boxes. So, I mean, we could just pick a box and we could go on for years. So, <laughs> so anyway, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I'm sorry that this was late. But like I said, I was having a day yesterday. So have a wonderful week, the rest of your week, and I will see you on Sunday. Okay, guys. Bye. Mwah.